Hi everyone, so this is the Gizmos Lab that you are going to be doing through Explore Learning. Now, if you have anything up here that says like you have a time limit or anything, make sure that, and it's going to be up in this area where it has your login information, make sure you click login or you go to my classes and your gizmo is already loaded in your class so that you can do this activity. So I wanted to walk you through all of the different tools that are available on this gizmo um, because it's important that you know how to access everything. So the first thing that you're going to do in your gizmo activity is you're going to answer your prior knowledge questions and your warm up questions. So the warm up questions are going to ask you about um, volume and setting volume as your dependent variable. So notice right here, I have volume as my dependent variable. And then I am going to, it says to um, use, change the green slider on the top right of the chamber to change the pressure. So if I change the pressure, so this is my slider right here, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and glide that over this way. See, notice how I'm gliding that over this way and it's changing my ATM. So it's changing from one ATM and it's going all the way up to 1.8. So I'm gonna go back down to one ATM and it says to change the pressure, note what happens to the temperature, volume, and the amount of gas. So look at my temperature. My temperature is down here, okay? And then my volume is right here, is measured right here. And then my, um, I have my number of particles are going to be here. My number of moles is going to be the amount of gas. So we haven't learned moles in this class yet, and you really don't need to understand what moles are, um, except for to understand that that's the amount of gas particles that are there. So if I add pressure, what's gonna happen to my volume? What do you notice about my volume? What do you notice about my temperature? What do you notice about my number of moles? Okay, so what changes and what stays the same? That's what you're going to do first. So all of these different variables you can change. So in the next section, it says to adjust the number of moles. So when you adjust the number of moles, you're gonna come over here to this nozzle right here, and you're gonna be able to drop that nozzle down. Okay, notice that's grabbing and pulling. So now I have 0.6 moles and I'm going all the way up to one mole. So if I drop the number of moles, what happens to my volume? What happens to my temperature and what happens to my pressure? Okay. So that is one of the things that you can do and you can change all different things here. So you can change the type of gas that you're looking at. You can change to helium and nitrogen and run that all over. You can change your ATM to KPA. So remember that KPA or kilopascals is your SI unit for pressure. Um, another thing that you're going to look at is you're going to look at table. So as I change things, okay, as I change things, then I'm going to, um, I'm going to click record and that's going to end up recording these values. So if I change my value and then hit record, so I can record different things, okay. Um, another thing I can do is I can look at my bar chart. My bar chart, as I change my variables, what happens to um, the values. So you'll notice that those bars adjust. And we're going to actually do something with bar charts in our next unit tomorrow or our next study tomorrow. So it's really important for you to look at these bar charts and then you can look at the graphs. Okay. You can look at the graphs and you can change your X variables. Okay. So you can change your X variable to temperature, moles, and pressure. And then here for your volume, your volume is going to be your y-axis. So you have your independent variable is what you are changing and your dependent variable is what's being changed. Then after you're finished with this lab, so you're going to answer your lab questions on your lab sheet and submit that. And at the very bottom, there's going to be some analysis questions and things that are kind of extension questions. And then you'll move on from that to some quick notes on the gas laws. Something that I really want to make sure that you are aware of is I will not ask you 
who came up with what law and who said what. But I will ask you about the relationship. So if I double volume, what happens to pressure and temperature? If I cut volume in half, or what if I double temperature? Um, what temperature is important? Those are the types of questions that are important is that you know the relationships. If I double, what happens? If I cut in half, what happens? Um, and so on and so forth. So you need to understand the relationships. You don't necessarily need to memorize the names of the people. I don't care that you know the names of the people. No one cares that you know the names of the people. It really matters more so that you understand the relationships. I hope that that's helpful for you guys.